Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. Got an unboxing here. Something I've been working on. I've got two guitar body blanks that I'm going to start cutting up and turning them into a guitar body. I've got a bunch of guitar necks. Uh, i got a couple more guitar necks coming that are before this guitar here. And what this is, is I've been buying up some damaged goods, okay? So I've been buying guitars that either uh, are brand new and they have some sort of a defect with them, either electronically or visually or cracks, chips, whatever, and kind of refurbishing them, turning them into something a little bit more of the art of noise. This one here is another one. Yeah, let's get open. All right, so this is a brand new guitar. Nothing fancy with it. This is the LP100 Epiphone, and I'm going to open this for right now. Nice that I got the original box with this. Let's see. All right. And do not discard that. Very important, huh? Okay. So here she is, out of tune. All right, so there's no push and pull of any kind, nope. Two volumes, tone, two tones, three-way switch here, genomatic bridge, tailpiece, six strings, binded neck on both sides. It's got the black binding, dot inlays. This is the Les Paul 100, the older version, you can tell by the headstock but it has some flaws in it. And the flaws aren't in the body or anything. The body's in mint shape. Uh, actually, it's in perfect shape. There isn't a goddamn thing wrong with it. The only thing is, is the headstock. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's a little bit of a crack going on here. And there's a crack going on over here. Now, buying, it still has the plastic on the pick guard which that will be taken off because I can't stand pick guards and this will be refinished so buying a guitar like this is actually a lot cheaper than buying a blank body or buying a already cut body and adding a neck to it and since this is a little bit of an arch top kind of like a regular Les Paul body this will be getting the attention that I normally do with customizing my guitars and I will be doing a paint job on this different neck I've been getting some messages about uh, putting a, another V style neck you know the headstock shape on a Les Paul body so I guess uh, some people kind of liked the way that looked. I actually liked the way it looked, kind of like the way I did with the, uh, one of the Iron Maiden, Les Paul style uh, guitars I end up doing. And this one here is not going to be another Iron Maiden guitar. It's going to be something different. Be a matching headstock, of course, because I kind of like the way the body and the headstock go together when they match. Uh, really don't care for this black headstock thing now this has regular tuners on them not anything fancy uh, I'm sure they probably work and there's probably nothing wrong with them but I am going to end up changing them out to a better tuner uh, thinking about getting rid of the tailpiece on this and putting a wraparound bridge I kind of want to see inside of here to take a look at the type of electronics. I'm sure it's pretty basic uh, alpha pots and whatnot that are on here. All right. So let's see what we got. Yeah, these kind of look like made in Korea 
Alpha pots. Yep, that's what they are. All right, let's see what they did. This is a one wire setup over here with a ground. It's a three. Uh, no, it's a two wire. Okay, let's see here. All right, I see what they, that's the gray wire. Okay, I see what they did over here. Never you mind. So the red pickup or red wire and yeah, these are not splittable. All right, so they're not splittable pickups. But I have a set of pickups that I can go with this thing that are splittable. So not that big of a deal. At least it's nice and clean in here. It kind of reminds me of what I would do with it. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit of a transparent top. You can kind of see the wood through there. This side here, of course, you can see the maple or veneer that is on here. Maybe it's a veneer, maybe it's a uh, one of those I don't know, photo, whatever they call it. But yeah, that's not going to be like this. This is all going to be totally different. So this will be the next project. Um, I have something coming in from the owner of these guitars that I ended up doing some work on. That'll be here tomorrow. And uh, this is going to get kind of a, a new look to it, but still the same for the next project I got coming in. I am still working on Green Terror's neck. So as you can see here, there was a big chip and a dent right here. I took care of that. All the holes that were on the back of here have now been filled. Uh, I had a little hole over here that I'm filling right now. So I had to put a little bit of CA glue inside there. And I got to sand that down and then hit it with some more clear. Got a little bit of dirt in the paint right there. That's the clear coat. And this is going to get a matte finish done to it. Now I ended up putting sleeves inside of here, which basically was a uh, oak piece of wood. And I ended up putting inside the holes and then drilling them out so it fits his sleeves that go around the post of the tuners. So yeah, those will be back on here. But yeah, this is getting worked on slowly but surely. The problem with it is, is over here it's so goddamn humid outside. It's been hard to paint. So yeah, so I'll put these covers back on and set this puppy off to the side. Stay down. And start planning on what I'm going to do with this. Now I got a plan for the bass and I'm thinking about with the bass guitar since I'm putting the EMGs on it doing a number where I put a three-way switch with it so you can switch off just like a regular just like a regular guitar you can switch off either bridge or neck and have both at the same time on because what's the difference between having a switch and doing it by volume because you could do that with this as well you know so all right made in China yeah so this is the Epiphone LP Les Paul 100 and again this pick guard will be taken off and put away I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with the cream yet it depends on what I'm thinking of as far as uh, what I'm gonna do with this um, other than that that's it it's an older model tell by the headstock like I said that already that's my next project, or coming up projects. You guys take it easy, have a good one, and I will catch up with you all later.